circle with center O in diameter AB, AC is parallel to OD. We need to prove that the measure of the arc CD is equal to the measure of arc DB. So the first thing is to write the given statement, and I'm writing everything together that's given. And then the next thing to notice immediately is that CAB is an inscribed angle, because the A is the point on the circle. Okay? So angle CAB is an inscribed angle. And the reason for that would be simply definition of an inscribed angle. Now, notice that since we're talking about a straight line segment, because diameter is a straight line segment, and CA and OD are parallel, and even if they weren't parallel, you can immediately see that these are corresponding angles. Okay, so angle CAB and angle DOB are corresponding angles. So basically what it means is that they occupy the same position as you can see, as you can tell, the same position. All right, so again this would be the definition, the reason for this would be definition of corresponding angles. Now, notice now um, Notice that the measure of CAB is equal to the measure of DOB angle. So not only they're corresponding, but there's all, they're all also equal. So measure of CAB is equal to the measure of DOB. And the reason for that is because these two are parallel. OD and CA are parallel as is given here. Okay, so we can state it as diameter AB crosses parallel line segments AC and OD. Okay? So now Notice that DOB is a central angle because O is the center of the circle, right? Whenever the vertex of the angle created is at the center of the circle, you will have a central angle. So this angle is a central angle. So the reason for that is definition of a central angle. Now, notice that the measure of this central angle is the same as the measure of the arc that it intercepts. So we can say measure of DOB is equal to the measure of the arc DB that it intersects. Right? So then we can explain it as the central angle. Okay, the central angle DOB uh, well we can we don't have to say DOB, we can just say central angle because we already said it was a central angle, right? The central angle um, and its intercepted arc have the same measure. 
Okay, so that would be the reason for that. Now the seventh step is to notice that we're going to use the addition postulate for an arc. So notice that arc BC can be expressed as the sum of smaller arcs CD and DB. So the measure of arc BC is equal to the measure of arc CD plus the measure of arc DB. Okay, and this can be shortly explained as the arc addition postulate. Okay, arc addition postulate. Now, notice that angle CAB is one half of the intercepted arc. Okay, All right. So, so measure of angle CAB is one half the measure of its intercepted arc. Okay, this should be a fact. So the way to explain that is um, uh, we can we can say that the measure. of an inscribed, remember that this is an inscribed angle, that's why it's one half the measure of its inter intercepted arc. Inscribed angle is one half its intercepted arc. Okay, now the ninth step is to notice that we can use substitution property. Right, notice that measure of CAB was e equal before to DOB, so we can substitute. We can say that DOB is equal to one half the measure of the arc BC. This is simple sum substitution. Right, so this is the substitution property of equality. Now, the tenth step, so we're going to be doing lots of substitutions now. Notice that measure of arc db, measure of arc db is equal to one half, again, of measure of arc bc. And why is that? Because notice that we, in the sixth step, we said the measure of dob was equal to the measure of arc db. Right, so we simply substitute. Right, we use this line and ninth line and substitute this with that. Right, so again this is the same reason, so I'm going to write just quotation marks, it's the same reason as 9. The next step is going to be yet another substitution. Notice that the measure of arc db is one half the sum. Right, And the sum of what? Can you guess what it is? It's that. And we substitute this for that measure of arc CD plus the measure of arc DB. Okay, so this is yet another substitution property. Now, we can multiply both sides by 2. And, to, and when you do that, you will have twice the measure of DB arc is equal to, and remember, when you multiply this side by 2, I'm kind of I'm kind of skipping a step here, but um, if you want, I mean, if you can, if you want to see this in detail, I can show you because you know some teachers are want you to work, provide as many steps as possible, right? So twice the measure of dB will be will be two times one half the measure of CD plus the measure of DB. Okay, and this is simply multiplication. Multiplication property of equality. 
and now you need to simplify and basically substitute. You're not going to touch the left side. So the measure of RdB, notice that the twos would cancel out, so you would substitute simply with measure of arcd plus the measure of arc db. Okay? So this is simple substitution. So we can say substitution property of equality. Right? The same reason as 9, 10, and 11. Now, uh, the next part that we're going to need is uh, subtraction. So we're going to subtract measure of dB. So we're trying to say, we're trying to leave measure of CD is equal to measure of dB arcs. Right? So we need to isolate CD on one side. So we need to subtract measure of dB. So twice the measure of dB minus measure of dB is equal to measure of CD minus the measure of uh, I'm sorry we should copy that down plus measure of DB minus the measure of DB right this is the subtraction property right subtraction property of equality and make sure not to mess up the subtraction and substitution these words are so similar you might mix them up make sure you you tell you see the difference subtracting is when we simply write subtraction substitution is, is when we completely rewrite something on the left or right side which is what we're going to do in the next step it's going to be substitution notice that this simplifies as simply measure of arc db is equal to this becomes zero so it's just measure of arc cd right so this is simple substitution substitution property of equality. And so now finally the last step is notice that it's not exactly the same thing. You might say well it is the same right it's just on different sides but you still have to arrive at the statement just in case. Measure of CD is equal to the measure of DB. What's the explanation of switching sides? The explanation the property is simply the symmetric Right? This is the symmetric property of equality. Right? Symmetric means you can simply switch sides of the equation and it still holds true. So now you've proven this statement successfully. And this is it. Hope you enjoyed. See you in the next video.